थ्री डी में कैसी लगा ट्रेलर अच्छा लगा थ्री डी में हाँ सो so, जो भी The aftermath of the Adi Purush teaser has been quite the eventful one to notice from the outside. You've got everything from clarifications, cover-ups, disaster management interviews, and still some hope within the small percentage of film fans that there might be a possibility we get a good film by the end of it, despite the noise. I just want to talk about the chronology of events and how it manifested into a monster many did not envision, because it's important many times to have your take regarding the film and its first look. Step aside and beyond the noise, also have some form of clarity of what. transpired nobody really has doubted the capability of om raut as a storyteller who really helmed a huge project like tanaji with great conviction while he benefited immensely from having a combination of physical sets and special effects that needed to be integrated in its frames he really took up a mammoth task with adi purush executing the same technology in movies like avatar with a budget exorbitantly more than this film required to execute with perfection i think what was unanimous with the criticism that adi purush got and justifiably so was the poor rendering of its frames that lent an extremely cartoonish tone to the film a film whose geography can easily be shot in real locations is reduced to computer generated rated images in each frame so much so that it does not contribute to a real and tangible feeling in any moment the second criticism also that i feel was communicated mostly by the audience was the abrupt tonality of the film with respect to the character choices and their looks while ram sports a more traditional look almost reminiscent of what the epic represents the case of lankesh still seems to be a modern adaptation a case of body armor while walking in front of the city of gold designed mostly like a black asgard as most people have pointed out this abrupt tonality is what confused uses audiences of what the vision of Om Raut is if one is going for the old world charm of the epic why not make it consistent for all the characters across the board and if it is a modern day adaptation like say the world of brahmastra or set in a world not known to us why not equip the likes of ram sita lakshman and hanuman with costumes that are representative of the same when it comes to the poor rendering of frames and why specifically the film's visuals fall short i would highly recommend you watch kiba kibi's video breaking down the teaser of adi purush I link it in my description box. He's narrated it down from a viewer's attention in a frame when it's crowded by elements, the case of how practical effects could have been easily employed and how disappointing it was to see this frame especially. The man really breaks it down for it not to be only insightful but educational as well. What one needs to realize especially regarding the patchwork that one is expecting to be done in the span of 3 months is that it's too extensive for it to drastically change from what it is especially because the movie has been shot entirely in a studio and most of the elements beyond the humans have been computer generated. One can only really color correct the film and change some glaring flaws but it's not going to be drastically different from what we saw in the teaser. One equates the patchwork done for a film like Sonic the Hedgehog and how the audience was unhappy with the way the character looked but the critique was based Based entirely on the principal character, but with the case of Adi Purush, the patchwork is way too substantial to tweak and account for an entirely different experience, which makes me also hilariously point out what happened in the last few days. The case of disaster management by the creators was absolutely hilarious because the journalist was shown the trailer in 3D and miraculously had such a vastly different experience of watching the teaser that it made you doubt your naked eye of what happened on phones and laptops. Journalists and trade experts names that I would not mention had verbatim similar tweets mentioning on how their experience of watching the teaser in 3D on the big screen absolutely changed their perception of the film and one could really understand that they have been given a memo so that the audience also doubts their instinct but the statements were too glaringly similar to one another to make everyone conclude that this is just papering over the cracks What was even more disingenuous was the creators themselves almost mocking the perception of the audience and how the teaser was only meant for the big screen. This need to disregard the perception of the audience came across as ignorant as it disregards genuine feedback as just noise. The teaser essentially is intended to generate hype for the film. Hence, the good, bad and the ugly should be accepted with stride. But as the movie was a hot topic of course the teaser and its reactions transitioned to become news or debates hosted by mostly journalists who don't have a slight idea of Prabhas's filmography beyond Bahubali and take the stance of the most polarizing views as it accounts for the best traffic on their channel where i think these debates definitely took an ugly turn was that they constantly want to create a religious polarizing debate alluding to the assumption that the creators want to butcher the sentiments of people intentionally the writer of the film Manoj Mundashar rightly pointed out as Saif's Lankesh was being compared to Khilji 
technology that if they ever saw an invader wear a tripond on his forehead one can criticize the creative decisions taken like the haircut sported by the antagonist as if from a contemporary world salon but to assume that the intention of the creators is to intentionally mock religious sentiments is going too far i believe this feeds into the polarizing narrative popular on social media and just feeds into more hate that is not even intended I also want to point out that the criticism aside what people fail to acknowledge also is that Prabhas despite having a poor run at the box office after Bahubali still has a massive draw in India so much so that you know that people will be storming in for this film especially on the first weekend even with an underwhelming project like Radhe Shyam Prabhas just through his pan indian appeal generated a 92 crore opening weekend so his stardom especially drawing in audiences initially cannot be discounted that coupled with the fact that this is Ramayana as a full feature film you know everyone is interested in seeing how the story will transpire despite the criticism i think the perception of the visuals of the film will not change much and that is truly a bummer especially taking into account the investment that has gone into this project one can only hope that the narrative can come compensate for the same but i have to still confess that seems like a herculean task for om raut and the producers of this film and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what is your opinion of the aftermath of the adi purush teaser please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching